big boy. Come to test the old man's mettle.
like my guts are falling out. Dead man walking. Find a way to reach the top of the state building and make contact with the resistance group. Look for elevators, stairs, anything. The radiation levels should be acceptable at the top of the building. Your voice, Anya. Every second, a glory.
fuck are you, white boy? Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What do you say? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? Well, you ain't a white-ass fascist Nazi pig. Then you're either colored or you're a deviant. And you sure as hell ain't colored, so you're trying to pass as a deviant? You look like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told I'm you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! <laughs> Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn... Nazi. Hey! <laughs> now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now. Or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Oh. Lady, oh. I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a death. Oh, you bitch got a sick sense of humor. Oh, uh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh, oh. Chili, okay? It's my papa's recipe. Ain't got no spoon, though. Oh, thanks. So what's, uh, what the chicken fats? Chicken <laughs> That's, that's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the, the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. Oh. I almost got killed by William goddamn Blaskowitz. Yeah. Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time when I came up. Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno, you know what I'm saying? I remember main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams that went through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? Shit. That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. Now why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of badassery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them coming up the stairs. They're like a fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, 
You got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya, we're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on. Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white-ass fascist Nazi pigs! Cap, come on, everybody's off the roof! fighting every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? <laughs> they done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. 
They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace is always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. And if nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz. You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting, killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit. Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right. <laughs> What do you think about this, Schmendrick? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, my Well, well, well. So this is where all the decisions are made. We're gonna need a place to sleep nearby. This room looks empty. Super Smash! Hey, white boy, I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Yes, ma'am. Heck yes. What's up, boss? We sleeping in here. You got it, sister. Cool. All right, listen up, people. White boy here is going to show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around, find a place to bunk, get to know the boat folk. And hey, best behavior, you dig? This way. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed up the entrance to Section F. Because it's been flooded since the attack. Blaskowitz, you know how to swim? Yep. Maybe this isn't bad. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I. So what the fuck is this, man? Is this a working toilet I see before me? Handled toward my hand? Yes. Yes, this toilet can handle all sorts of waste, and feces, urine, vomit, as you name it. Do you have ass wipe? And by that you mean toilet paper, yes. Yes, of course we need to mind our rations a little bit, but uh, oh. there's ass wipe in oh, there. Oh, God, oh my God, yes. oh my sweet God in heaven, a working mother flushing toilet. I never thought I'd see the day. It's just, um, okay, okay. I'm just gonna be in here for a minute. Good luck. What is this? Don't plug it! Hmm. You think you're smart, huh? Hmm. How about... Yeah. Make sure. No, no, no. Hmm. Wait a minute. Make sauce. Checkmate. Nice. No. Max. No. Max. No. Max. No. Max. No. Max. No. Max. Get me, you stupid toilet!
need that nuclear warhead from Section F. Go get it, would you? Did you see the new kill house set built in the shooting range? I tried it, but my time was like toilet. It feels not the same when targets not shoot back, yes? Meh. You only make excuses for shit bad shooting, Alessandro. Dai cazzo! Me? I am musician, no warrior. Hello, Captain. Sailors now, aren't we? I believe his time in Kill House will be the better fantastic, no? Yes. Hello, Captain Blaskowitz. Hola, Capitan. Saludos. William. Chad back down at the hidden entrance in the locker room. Grace needs a nuclear warhead from the stockpile in Section F. Brave face, old man. Keep away. What she needs, you can't provide. Good evening, Captain Blaskowitz. 
Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Keeps me upright. And Anya, her voice, her glory, it buckles me. Blaskowitz, got a heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. I count one, three, four, five, hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Be ready for anything. Brace out.
can't see shit. Need some light in here. So here's what I'll do. Keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar.
a nuclear warhead. Tip top. Bring it to the old man. Set, was it? I've briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Trimshin, it's not the Tots cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. You're a little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'll do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. Set. Mm hmm? Set. Yes, Mr. Wyatt. Hey, have you ever talked to God? God? Yes, many times, many times. Oh, wow, man. And what'd he say? Still waiting for him to get that. Why? I was just hoping you could help me figure out something I saw earlier. Yeah, what did you see? I saw highways in the sky, you know? Don't touch it! Light just reaching across galaxies in it. It was like these, these symmetrical patterns of, of color, and I was just blasting through them at the speed of light. And mm -hmm. it, it was like reality. It, it warped in on itself. And it, Somehow, I was breaking through these dimensional barriers, and I could see everything. Uh-huh. Except I, I had ceased to exist. I mean, I was, but I wasn't I. This is very interesting, yes. And, and from my vantage point, there were like these, these patterns of light that formed these roots that, that reached out into this infinitely colossal shape, like, like a geometric tree that was just bigger than the entire universe and and then i i heard something this this voice just thundered at the center of my awareness in uh -huh. this this being this shape it spoke and it just said one word what visitor visitor just that one word visitor I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Amazing. This is... It's... A dot. The ten Sophia's. Oh, yeah. The ten. What? These visions. How did they come to you? Well, like... In, in a dream. In a dream. This is astonishing. This is astonishing! I have very little... Books on this subject in English. Oh, 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 oh. Now, listen to me very well. Study this. Very well, this is really important. Any revelation, any observation, anything, come to me. You understand me, Ingele? Thank you. Right on, Seth. Right on, Mr. Wyatt. Oh, thank you. Right on.